Alright guys and welcome to week 15 of Training for Ultra and unlike every other week in a vlog I'm not actually out running so after the 28 miles which I'll just say before I'm going to this um, thanks for all the new, the new subscribers being a small channel when you even get one extra subscriber it's always awesome and thanks for all the kind words I know Stacey was um, overwhelmed by a lot of the comments and stuff and even the viewers and people messaging on saying well done and stuff so again ma massive thanks for that guys because it's been a very popular vlog in comparison to this channel so um, it doesn't go, doesn't go unnoticed. So um, today, Tuesday, um, so yesterday is always a rest day as we always talk about in here. Currently taking Frank a walk down to the wee burn, he's not been down here in a long time so I'm just letting him run wild and um, so what I've done today was uh, is just try to replace um, my cardio duration so I was scheduled to do 11 miles today so again that would probably transfer into about an hour and 15 hour and 20 or something like that so I'm opting to do low impact stuff and still keep my cardio base up so I'm still working and to be honest with you my knee is allowing me to get away with it so the knee is really really sore it's just really inflamed in the outer left hand side of the insertion point in my T-band so I know exactly what's wrong with it um, so the only thing I can really do about that is I bought a nice ice brace uh, a nice ice brace it's like a brace that goes over my knee but it's icy it's actually really good it gave me a lot of relief today and then I'm just going to replace the duration of the runs with just the lower impact cardio so today it was 45 minutes on the cross trainer which is a bit of a slog but I always just put on YouTube and YouTube will get me through that and then I go from that and I went on to the step machine as well and I spent 45 minutes on the stepper and again not really hammer myself for that but enough that I'm working enough that I'm working just keep my good solid base and burning calories and amongst all of this I am doing um, a challenge in my own client group right now that doesn't tell me doing 50 squats and 50 push-ups every single day through the course of April and obviously we're over halfway through that now so I've done that and a lot of people say thought you'd a sore knee if you're squatting properly it won't affect your knee a few people have said that to me is that not going to annoy your knee I was like only if my technique was really really shite so again it being Tuesday I've had quite a few client calls today and I've got one later on so I'm actually down here in the afternoon well, normally I've got Frank out in the morning Go on, you. Um, but just purely based on my schedule today I've got him out in the afternoon so it's just that what this is all about is adapting um, that's what this whole vlog this week's going to be about it's just adapting to the situation because what I see all the time and no doubt you guys have done it as well is as soon as your plan goes to shit it's almost like what's the point the nutrition goes out the window the training goes out the window you stop I can't do anything you convince yourself of that and you don't look for any alternative you can control other variables you know so what I mean by that is is like even if you couldn't train can you control your nutrition even if you couldn't you can't you can't run can you walk can you pedal can you cycle can you do whatever can you do something else and what I see is a lot of people is they just don't even bother with that they just kind of oh well that's that goal over way and it's the it is the easy way out and I'm not saying that it's not viable because it's absolutely viable at times that that's going to be the, the instance you know that it's going to be the case that sometimes you're going to have to right I'm really that bad injured that I need to stop but again you can still control a variable you can control your nutrition you know so just trying to adapt seeing what my, my knee's going to get let me get away with I don't plan on running this week at all the baby's due at any time um, so <laughs> it's all happening but I'm actually not worried and I'm quite content I really am like the fact that I ran the 28 miles when I was doing it with Stacey last week and if you asked me at the end date, could you do another 10? Like honestly, yes I was in pain, yes I was hurting, but if you asked me to do another 10, yeah I could have done it, like really could have done it. So that's a, a massive confidence booster and I don't think that anybody who's training for any sort of ultra, well I know I'm in the Cairn Gum, so I'm going to be going through the hills and stuff. I don't imagine anybody's running the amount of roads that I'm doing because I've not changed terrain at all, but again I've explained why in previous ones. So. Um, I just keeping you up to date, sorry for the ramble, um, starting off the vlog and a ramble is not always a great idea But just wanted to keep you up to date, this week's all about adapting And if you're you're, you're watching this and you're getting injuries and you're you're just unsure, seek the help you need From a physio, from someone, um, get better advice, adapt the plan and try and keep going to the best of your ability Give yourself every fighting chance and you know what, imagine the 1st of June drops round And that's when I'm supposed to be doing ultra and I can't, um, then I, I can't, you know um, and I'll do something else at another time but I'm not just going to go and stop um, because <laughs> again I know I'm walking around but it is, it is pretty so so again just adapt keep a strong mindset control what you can control um, tomorrow I'm going to go down and do some boxing um, again that doesn't really aggravate my knee sometimes I need to change stance a wee bit more like I can't be orthodox so I might go southpaw um, so we'll see how it all goes again I hope you're all well and let's see how this week goes 
Happy Friday, guys. Um, so we're back down the burn because because I never got to take Frank out his walk yesterday, and that's very unusual because I walk Frank every single day, sometimes twice a day, and just because of my work schedule that yesterday, um, they just the way the way th things work to it. Um, I never got to take him out, so I'm taking him down the burn and just letting him run about, and he's absolutely gone mad right now. Um, so again, on Wednesday I went down and done boxing. Um, this time I actually wrote down on my wee board here. Um, exactly what I wanted to do when I went down because the thing is I end up just going down and kind of winging it like just having a wee workout and getting basically I was shaking off the cobwebs now I'm going to get a wee bit more thinking ahead getting a wee bit more uh, dialed into what I'm actually doing so nothing fancy there then that was on Wednesday and then yesterday I went down and done the same as what I done on Tuesday which was 45 minutes on the cross trainer again varying up some levels and then another 45 minutes on the stepper which I really do think benefit me massively because I'm feeling that um, in different areas and again like I said before and um, because I'm going to be going on an incline with these hills it's going to be a very interesting one um, as to when I start running again which probably will be next Thursday trying to give this knee all the chance it can get now it will be interesting how I feel because I just feel like it's hurting me in like my calves um, my glutes are getting a lot more work which can only be of benefit so tomorrow I have I've actually going to go down and do four hours tomorrow and what I'm going to do is an hour on a cross trainer, hour on a stepper, hour on a cross trainer, hour on a stepper and I've said to some people if they fancy coming down because that's going to be boring as hell if they fancy coming down and kind of help me out because it's going to be a long time a very long very monotonous time um, on those machines so the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm still not going to run I mean my knee does feel better I think the inflammation is kind of completely away I've got all the knots at my legs I think because even when I'm going over it with my massage ball and my everything else I don't really feel much anymore I'm um, still a wee bit of tightness at the hips but that's going to take a lot more work so yeah um, tomorrow I'll go down see how see how that goes if I don't die of boredom still take my nutrition down and practice taking that on board but again it's just about finding a way keeping the keeping the endurance levels going and taking it from there so I will probably see you tomorrow Right guys, so happy Saturday and it's a nice sunny day actually, I'm sitting here by Willie Hat on but I am just finished doing my improvised adapted cardio. Um, so what I did today was um, I went down and the plan was to do an hour on the cross trainer, an hour on the stepper, an hour on the cross trainer, an hour on the stepper and fueling in between each one of them. Managed it fine apart from I done the first hour on the cross trainer and a big thanks to Maggie, my gym gran who came down for that first hour just to keep me company just so it wasn't too boring so I really appreciate that Maggie but I managed the first hour and then the, the first hour on the stepper no problem again done the other hour on the cross trainer and then when I went back on the stepper it was about 15 well it was actually about 10 minutes in and it wasn't that my knee was pulling or in pain but there was an irritation there it was, it, it was like right I'm going to stop this before it becomes a problem and um, so I done 50 minutes on the stepper and I came back off and I went back on to the the cross trainer and I done another 45 minutes on that so it was like really it was like two hours and 45 minutes cross trainer an hour and 15 on a stepper um, and then from that I went and finished off by doing my monthly challenge that I was talking about so went to the other side of the gym and done the 50 squats and 50 push-ups and the way I can handle that is I do um, sets of 10 each so I do 10 squats 10 push-ups give it about 15 20 seconds and I'll do them again um, just so it's more manageable so that, that's basically the vlog guys. This week is really just all been about adapting. There's other stresses obviously going on with like just work and well kids waiting to be born and all that kind of thing. Um, I'm actually going to right after I film this um, phone my wife just to see is everything okay you in labour or do you feel anything just before I drive away because I'm going to watch my nephew playing his football. Um, but this week is all about adapting. I think the message I want to get across to everyone with this kind of thing is is this goal was meaning a lot to me, and I think that's a big difference, but I think with anybody, um, when th when you get a sore leg, when you get a sore arm, or you're just not feeling great, or whatever it is, something's going to happen, and you have got a goal in mind, or you're just trying to make progress in some way, that just because something might happen, you can't do a, pa a plan to perfection, it doesn't mean you should just fuck it all out the window, and I'm going to be honest, probably if I wasn't really started to film these vlogs, I might have. Um, the vlogs have been a wee bit more about accountability for me and I'm going to be really honest if I wasn't really filming them no one would know none the wiser no one gives a shit anyway I'm pretty sure people watching these if I put up a vlog and says right it's all over which could happen and um, that no one would really care and that's what you have to in your head like the, the reason why you want to be doing stuff is for you that it's important to you that you want to be the one to achieve those goals you want to be the one to make the progress etc and that you should always look to what you can do I know it's easier said than done folks like I really really do and this is the whole thing about quitting not being an option. Like it's it's a very 
famous saying, like, quitting isn't an option. That's where everyone's wrong. Quit, quitting is the most readily available option that you have. It's always there. It's the easiest one sometimes that you can just go, oh, well, I can take all the stress off my shoulders and just go back to whatever I was doing beforehand that if you were in my position, you would have been more, a more unhappy and unfulfilled in certain areas of your life, you know. Um, so, guys, just find a way. Find a way. You might not know the way. You might have to seek a way. Um, but just don't give up on your goals. Just don't give up on anything. You can always kind of try and look for a way to adapt. And um, that was more of a very mentally tougher session that in there. Um, just staring at a wall or listening to my phone or um, trying to watch some things on YouTube I couldn't pay attention to. I listen to different podcasts. And that's why Maggie Come Doom is a massive great deal. So, And last week I didn't manage to get Frankie's sausages. But a massive thanks to Emma, to Stacey and to our gym grand Maggie. Um, for buying me a coffee and buying Frankie's sausages. Now, due to my scheduling conflicts with um, work things and midwife appointments and just everything in general, I didn't actually have time to get them down to the cafe. But what I did do is I went and bought me sausages, brought them home, cooked them for them and fed them the sausages as you can see here. And uh, obviously, I try and not show it in the video because it's absolutely disgusting, but he is actually foaming at the mouth when he eats these. It's literally Frank's favourite thing. He absolutely loves them. Um, so again, a massive thanks, guys. And if you want to support the channel by buying me a coffee or buying Frank some sausages, there's a link down below. But again, if you got this far, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully the message of you just seeking and finding another way is one that you can take and use to your advantage. And again, a massive appreciation for everybody who watches these. It does mean a lot. And it really helps encourage me to keep this going. So next week, we might have a baby. We'll wait and see. So I'll catch you then. Take care. And I'll see you all soon.